Militiamen and protesters gathered outside the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad for a second day, clashing with U.S. forces there. American Marines did have to fire tear gas and rubber bullets to push the crowd back. Those Iraqis were throwing rocks and setting fires to parts of the compound. Many of the demonstrators pitched tents and actually spent the night in Baghdad's green zone last night as nearly 100 U.S. Marines arrived to reinforce the embassy. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper announced Tuesday evening that an infantry battalion from the 82nd Airborne Division would be deployed to the Middle East amid rising tensions with Iran. The Iranians reacted today, denying involvement in the storming of the embassy, while Iran's supreme leader, the Ayatollah Khamenei, accused the U.S. of committing crimes by striking Qatayf Hezbollah targets on Sunday, killing at least 25 of the group's fighters. They are using something else as an excuse. They are attacking Iraqi soil killing a number of people. The Iranian government, nation, and I strongly condemn the U.S.'s malicious attacks. The striking images of the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad over the past two days may be seen by some as a win for Iran, who is waging a parallel information war with the West. Analysts worry that the rhetoric and information going back and forth between the West and Iran could lead to actual military action between the United States and Iran or its allies like Israel in the region and the Islamic Republic. Molly? And where do things stand there tonight? Well, tonight things do appear to be calming down. We saw images today of militiamen in pickup trucks carrying tents and other gear away from the U.S. Embassy. Those protesters claiming victory as they chanted and carried flags. A State Department official called this, quote, progress, but confirmed efforts to clear the area are still ongoing. Now, despite this, the U.S. Embassy has indefinitely canceled all consular activities. Also, Molly, we want to make one on-air correction to a report we did last hour with Julie. We showed images of a nighttime fire at the U.S. Embassy, saying those were tonight. Those images actually from last night. We just wanted to clear that up with our viewers uh, this afternoon.